so we're going to start today uh, continuing to talk, talk about optics. And we saw that with lenses, we could have convex or concave lenses. And what we're going to see today is that we can also have convex and concave mirrors. So for lenses, these let light travel through them. But for mirrors, they reflect light. So for, because the way that the light is interacting with these two different things is different than uh, the behavior of convex and concave mirrors versus lenses is also going to be different. So when we were talking about mirrors, if you just had a flat mirror and you have your person or whatever is being, whatever light is being reflected, And we saw that this, so if the person sees their foot in the mirror, then the angle here should be the same as the angle here. And that angle is called the angle of reflection. And if we use ray tracing and continue the line going from the person's eye to where they would see the image in the mirror, then they would see So this would be the object and this would be the image. So mirrors don't have to be flat and we'll see what happens when you have different kinds of mirrors. So a concave mirror would look like this. And if we had parallel rays going into the mirror, just like we had going into the lenses, then at each point where the ray meets the mirror, you would draw the line that's perpendicular to that. So that would be, so the blue is the, this is the, normal or 90 degrees from the surface. And 
And so if this angle, I don't know what angle that is, but let's say that was like 30 degrees, then whatever angle this ray gets reflected needs to be that same angle. So we'll call that ray number one. For ray number two, it's coming in perpendicular to the surface, so it would just get reflected straight back. And then for this one, pretend I'm better at drawing. And this one would get reflected so that they all end up being focused at the same place. The point where all of these lines meet is the focal point, just like it was in for lenses. And then, of course, the distance from The lens to the focal point would be F, and that would be the focal length. So a convex mirror would but and if we have our three three rays of light coming in. I'll do this a little smaller. Okay. One, two, three. So again, if we figure out where the line that's perpendicular to this line is, then whatever angle the incoming ray makes with that perpendicular line, let's say it's 25 degrees, then the outgoing ray also needs to be 25 degrees from the perpendicular. And then again, Number two is already uh, coming in perpendicular, so it'll just get reflected straight back. And then number three would look like the mirror image of number one, where it gets deflected out at some angle like that. So you'll notice on the left side, there's nowhere where these lines would ever join back up. But if we do our ray tracing method, then and we follow the path of the outgoing line, so this line, the dotted line here, and this one, then on the back side of the mirror, we would get them to cross at some point 
back here. So again, this is the focal point. And the distance from the mirror to the focal point is still the focal length. And so an example of these convex mirrors, if you think about like at a grocery store or at a restaurant, the curved mirrors that are kind of up around corners that let you see around the corner more easily, uh, that's an example of one of these convex mirrors. Another word for convex mirrors are diverging mirrors. because they make the light that's coming into it spread out after it hits it. And then for concave mirrors, these are converging mirrors. And so if you remember, Lenses, this is basically the opposite of what lenses do. So a concave lens, the light goes in and then it spreads out behind it. But for a concave mirror, the light comes in and then because it gets reflected, it converges the light. So maybe I'll draw a comparison between those two things. So for mirrors and then lenses. Cave, convex. So for each one, you've got three incoming parallel rays. And we just saw for the mirror that they would converge. And then previously we saw for the lenses that because the light travels through the lens, they get dispersed out on the other side. Then for convex mirrors, the light comes in and then reflects so it gets dispersed. And then for convex lenses, the light comes in and then it gets focused back here. So I guess the vocabulary for, so concave doesn't always go with converging and convex doesn't always go with diverging. So you need to pay attention to whether it's a mirror or it's a lens. And so those equations that we saw for the lenses also apply for the mirrors. So the, one over di plus one over do equals f. Image distance, object distance, and then 
focal length. And then magnification also. So the, the image is on top and the object is on the bottom. And so the H's are for height. And so you've, you've seen mirrors that change magnification probably like if you have a makeup mirror, but when you look at it, you see your face much bigger, so it's easier to do stuff uh, to see what you're doing. That's an example of a mirror that's magnifying the image or magnifying the, ob the size of the object so that the image size seems bigger. So these apply to both lenses and 